Not okay. On the, oh, you already clicked it. Yeah, it's running again. Um, it is now 1141. The chair is of the opinion that we cannot accomplish the debate on item C.4 during the remaining time we have before the next panel. In that, in that, uh, does anyone want to debate me on this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, basically, I'm try asking unanimous consent to adjourn. I disagree. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn at this time to to a So moved. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Second. Okay. Uh, in that case, so the uh, the chair. Is there anyone who wants this is debatable form? Believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> does somebody? I'm not going to debate in favor of. Does someone wish to vote uh, to debate in favor of adjourning? Mr. Breitbart. I wish to propose an amendment to okay. this, and the discussion of that alone would occupy more time than we have available. All right, that's it. Mr. Bra uh, uh, Mr. Valchek, rather, opposed to adjourning. I believe there is a move to postpone this indefinitely, as it's very badly worded, and we better coming back next year. And I think we can take care of that before we're done today. And there are people who want to go to the masquerade and not spend their entire afternoon in a business meeting. Speech in favor of adjourning. Speech against adjourning, Mr. Bloom. What I would like to second what Mr. Kowalczyk said and suggest that either appointing a committee and referring it to committee or postponing it indefinitely will not take more than five minutes. Very well. Is there anyone else wishing to debate the motion to adjourn? The motion to adjourn requires a majority vote. All those in favor of adjourning at this time, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? Hands down. The motion fails. The motion before us is... C.4, Western Con for All North America. This is quite long. I can, uh, I, we're given printed copies of it. Do I need to read the whole thing? Is there anyone who needs me to read the whole thing? Is why I have not. I see nobody. This, this would effectively expand Western Con, change Western Con's focus of space from where it is now to all of North America in the same way that the North American Science Fiction Convention defines it. Uh, which one of the makers wants to speak first? Is he right? Oh, the, uh, oh, oh yeah. well, the debate time will go. Let, I, we may run out of meeting time, so I'm not going to set time limit on it. We'll just run out of meeting time if necessary. Um, so we're all here because of our passions uh, for Vanish and fandom community. Um, because my concern is about WesterCon and NASFIT competing for guest panels and members. And many of us have spoken about this outside this meeting. Uh, this proposal is an attempt to make WesterCon stronger by allowing more people to join in um, as, as uh, chairs, as committees, um, and in the years of the NASFIC to be able to, uh, to combine a WesterCon and a NASFIC more easily uh, by allowing this to happen around the country, uh, if, if the community wishes for that to happen in those years. Speech against, Mr. Kabalchak. <coughs> While I appreciate what the uh, makers are trying to do, I think this was, many people feel it was sprung at the last minute and needs a lot more thought. While we could um, uh, refer this to a committee, I think that postponing indefinitely would have the same effect and give people a chance to talk about it over the next year and come back with uh, one or more better crafted proposal next year. Therefore, I'm moving to postpone indefinitely. Second. 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 Before I proceed on that, I wish to advise the members that one of the major, one of the purposes of postpone indefinitely is to kill a proposal for the duration of current convention without taking a direct stand on it. You are not voting in favor of the proposal or against it. You are voting against considering it at this time. I'm taking Mr. Kowalczyk's statement as an initial vote, an initial argument in favor of postponing indefinitely. Uh, a speech <coughs> against postponing it indefinitely this time. Ms. Ebra. Yes, is this where I can... You can say why you don't think it should be postponed. And you can discuss the merits of the proposal while you're doing it. You can try to move it to committee. Okay, then yes. At this point, then, I would like to request that we don't postpone indefinitely, and I would like to propose to move it to committee. What, uh, the motion to refer to committee outranks postponed indefinitely. Is there a second to referring it to committee? Second. second. Uh, does the member have any any guidance on what the committee should be other than whoever the chairman appoints? Oh. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, whatever is most. Does efficient. anybody wish to debate the question of sending it to committee? Just to show your hands if you want to talk about it. All right. Uh, you do want to speak. Uh, someone wants to speak. So we want to speak in favor of referring to committee then. Um, inquiry? A parliamentary yes. inquiry, yes. yes. What's the practical effect of moving to committee? How does it compare to uh, the 
Uh, it means that we create a committee to talk to, to think about it and do stuff with it and come back next year with a report. Postponing indefinitely just kills it and if people want to independently work on that same thing, they could do it as well. Uh, that was an inquiry. Who, someone want to speak in favor of referral? Someone want to speak against referral? Uh, Ms. Williams. I would like to, my name is Kim Williams, I would like to speak against the referral. I would prefer to postpone indefinitely, have a more free-form debate, because the idea was dropped on us at the last minute. I think that having it in a committee has the chance of also dropping it on us at the last minute. Um, and therefore, I like the idea of postponement indefinitely. Thank you. Oh, also, I am from way out of Western Coast area, and therefore, I have the same thing. Dropping it on at, at the last minute, I already have travel plans. I'm from Ohio. And All right, the member is starting to get into the merits of the, of the lower right. ranking motion. I'm sorry. Uh, is there anyone who still wants to debate whether we should send it to committee? Mr. Van Ark? I would speak in favor of it. Quickly, please. We've got like three minutes. People feel passionate about this. Uh, moving on to definitely is a way of killing it. Moving it to committee is a way to think about it and focus on it. So. All right, that's right. Someone else want to speak against? And back. I'm sorry, I've lost track of your name. has gone out of my head. I apologize. It's okay. Lisa yeah. Harrison. Lisa Harrison, yes. I think this is an issue that the broad community of WorldCon and WesterCon fandom needs to be considering not just a select committee. More voices need to be heard from across the country. If you want to expand WesterCon, it, you need to have more voices. And then putting it in a committee by itself is not enough. At this point, with about two minutes before we are actually supposed to leave this room, the chair asks unanimous consent to move the previous question on all motions that are stacked up, the motion to, to send to committee. If that, if that fails, the motion to postpone indefinitely. And uh, actually, and not the base motion before the below that. Okay, so the two, the two immediately pending motions. By the way, if the committee thing passes, the end definitely goes away entirely. On the motion to refer to committee, a majority being necessary, raise, uh, those in favor, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed, raise your hands. Hands down. The negative has it, the motion to refer to committee fails. On the motion to postpone indefinitely, which kills this motion for the duration of this WesterCon but has no other effect, you can be reintroduced in any form later at a future WesterCon. All those in favor of postponing it, definitely raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed to postponing it, hands down. The affirmative has it. The motion is postponed indefinitely. There is no more business on the agenda that I know of. However, is there somebody who wishes to move anything? I don't adjourn. Uh, other than an adjournment. Ms. Savarsky, you've got about one minute. I came up with wording for the previous uh, proposal. In the first section of the bylaws, um, the last phrase be replaced by, shall take place for four days over the 4th of July weekend. The conference committee shall declare in its publications and website which states are the first full day and the next to last day as referenced later in these bylaws. Uh, Ms. Savarsky, I do believe it would be probably better for the, for the business meeting and the members of it that you submit this as an amendment at next year's Western Conference. I will do so. Okay. Is there any objection to adjourning at this time? No? Uh, in that case, at 11.50, the business meeting, of, uh, uh, that means the overload session is not necessary. At this, there being no objection, there being no objection, and make sure you sign in if you could, there being no objection, the business meeting of the 71st West Coast Science Fantasy Conference is adjourned. CBD.